All right, as we start the beam module, I've been asked to help out with a few beam demonstrations. So I've got here a six foot steel uh, carpenter's rule. And beams, of course, we know are about bending. And so here we've got one that's pretty easy to bend, right? It's pretty flexible. And we're gonna be learning in this module about that stiffness as we change the span length and how easy is it to get the uh, beam to bend a particular amount, right? We're not gonna be focused here on the stiffness part first. We're gonna instead be looking at the strength part first. So here's a more conventional cross section that looks like a wide flange steel shape. And bending that one's not so easy anymore. Oh, you can see it bending. This would be hogging curvature of brownie face. No, smiley, no, smiley face would be going up. So let's use a sponge beam instead for our demonstration, right? So it's got a rectangular cross section. This particular one has different color sponge on top and bottom. And this dark line here represents the centroidal axis, right? And that centroidal axis then as it goes along the length of the beam is the longitudinal axis. So really that combination of the centroidal axis and this longitudinal axis creates that plane, right? And that will uh, eventually become kind of important to us. So let's do a little bending with our sponge beam. This would be smiley face curvature or concave up, positive curvature in American calculus. And then hogging curvature would be concave down. And that would be negative curvature in our American uh, calculus version. Of thing, right? So again, smiley face and then frowny face. Now what I want you to do though is to focus on these lines that are right here, right? They are perpendicular to the long axis. So they represent the cross-sectional plane here, but of course at different locations along the length of the beam. So once again, bend into smiley face. Notice what happens with those red lines and then frowny face when we go the other direction. All right now we could, of course, do our experiment by going to extremes. Right now look at what happens to those things. I'd right? go the other way in the extremes of what happens there, right? So, of course, we don't have too many beams that are bent that far. And indeed, they're not bent very uh, far at all. And so again, a little bit of bending. There's your smiley face curvature. And there's your frowning face curvature. Smiley face, frowning face. All right now that smiley face positive and that frowning face negative in American sign convention is opposite in the European sign convention. And there's pros and cons to either way. We'll deal with that another time. Let's just focus on this behavior. Smiley face and frowning face. 